Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to hide objects or make them uh, transparent when the uh, character is behind them and such, but uh, we're not going to be doing all of that just in this tutorial. I'm just going to be showing you how we can call ArrayCast and hide an object uh, if it's within view or if the camera is close enough to it. In future tutorials we'll make it so if the player is behind it we'll raycast to the player and we'll hide the object. But for now, this is just a basic setup. You can uh, use this just for the camera if you want, want to move closer and check that out. But yeah, okay. So the first thing we're going to do, for the objects that you want to hide, you're going to need to create a new tag called hide object. And this is what we're going to be using, what we're going to be checking for as a tag when we're calling a rate cast. So it won't hide any other object besides one that's called hide object. So pretty much we can go in here and check out the hide object code. We're going to be throwing this onto our camera. That's where the raycast is going to get called, but uh, yeah. So we're going to be creating a raycast and we're going to move that raycast forward from uh, the position on the uh, GUI out into the world. Um, we're going to be using a physics raycast and yeah, it just checks for all the different positions and stuff like that of where the raycast hit and then if the raycast hit hide object so that's going to be our tagged object that I told you guys to tag and so if that hits we're going to set O to hit collider game object so whatever object we hit is going to be O so we can uh, take O and set render material color A and that just means uh, for alpha, the alpha channel. So one would be completely like um, not transparent at all. Uh, zero point two is pretty transparent, and then zero would just be completely gone. So the object wouldn't even show up. So if we hit it, if the raycast hit the object, uh, make the texture on the object transparent else if it's not hitting then we want to hide um, or we want to set it so that everything else with that tag is set back to uh, transparent again Act, or not transparent uh, so we'll set that to 1.0 and so yeah that's pretty much all it does it grabs every object that is tagged with that and it goes through the array and it resets all of them back to um, non-transparency. So, yeah. Uh, the one thing you want to do for your object, though, the only downside to this is you have to make it a transparent diffuse. That way we can mess with the alpha. So for every one that you want to mess with, they all have to be transparent diffuse. They have to have that tag. And then for that script, you just want to go to my camera and drag hide objects onto there. So we can jump in here real quick. So you can see when we move towards the tree, it goes transparent and then goes back. Same for this this tree. And we can test out this tree. So you can see that it's all set up working correctly. And uh, future tutorials will actually make it so when our player go is behind a tree, so let's say um, it's here. Uh, it'll be transparent all the time. So we have to kind of fix our raycast to cast from the screen onto the uh, the player there. And I might do something so that the uh, once the raycast has hit, it won't call so many times because I can see my, my game is a tiny bit more laggy because it's calling a raycast super fast. Um, we'll try fixing that in future tutorials, but for now, that's a basic way of doing the... Uh, hide objects thing. So it's pretty much just like Diablo style or whatever game hides objects when the player is behind it. So yeah, stay tuned for future tutorials on more stuff. 